The St. Louis Arch may be the biggest thing that's uniquely St. Louis, but there are some smaller things too that few people realize. One thing that's really cool about St. Louis, St. Louis has a historically high bee diversity in part because of our unique sort of ecological placement. Nicole Miller Strutman is the Lawrence L. Browning Jr. Chair and Associate Professor at Webster University. Her lab studies bees in urban and wild environments. So we have cliffs, we have forests, we have prairies that were all here historically. And so with that comes the, the bees that evolved in each of those habitats. Prior work has shown that the city of St. Louis alone houses 200 species of bees. That's almost half of what's found in the entire state. And we still have most of them. Understanding how to conserve them within that landscape is really important, a human-dominated landscape. So in 2019, Miller Strutman started the Shutter Bee Citizen Science Program, a research study focused on learning more about the bee population in the greater St. Louis area. So we were interested in understanding how gardens are supporting that diversity within the St. Louis region. The Shutter Bee Project spanned four years. It recruited citizen scientists to help with the visual documentation. Upload them to an app called iNaturalist. iNaturalist has thousands of projects on it from all over the world. The project allowed people to contribute to the environmental science study from their own yards or any space they can visit regularly. Interested in how the landscape and urban environments might influence bee populations. What they discovered is that bee diversity in residential and community gardens is actually higher in the city than in the suburbs. But what they found is that what individuals or communities do with their gardens on small scales really matter, especially where biodiversity is underrepresented. What you do locally actually really matters. It it does matter a little bit if you're in the city, but no matter where you are, if you plant a diversity of native flowers, you get a greater diversity of native bees. And the biggest example of that is the finding that uh, Ned made in his garden. Ned Siegel was one of the project's 225 participants who collectively observed more than 30,000 bees over four years. There are thousands of native bees. Outside of the city of St. Louis, in Belleville, Illinois, Siegel observes the bee activity in the garden he created. Almost natural area, and it has really high diversity, and with that plant diversity has come this bee diversity. So it's really empowering. It's also encouraging that what we do, the decisions that we make at a small scale, can be helpful for these species at a larger scale. He documented the arrival of the little visitors by taking their pictures. He uploaded the photos to Shutterbee for bee identification, including the bumblebee Siegel found last July in his garden. And that's what started all the buzz. Boom, 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 boom. All the experts saying, wait a minute, this is a, this is a rare bee. Where he identified the lemon cuckoo bee, which is a rare bee. It hasn't been found in the St. Louis metropolitan area since the 1800s, 1854. This bee is a parasitic bee that requires a high population of other kinds of bees. This finding demonstrates there's a high enough abundance of other bees that this rare cuckoo bee can persist. Through the study, Miller Strutman also found that the photo survey protocol for citizen scientists documents the same biodiversity as the traditional lethal netting methods. So while the Shutterbee protocol won't work for all projects, Miller Strutman says it could be used to monitor bees without killing them. She says the crowning achievement goes to the Shutterbee community and everything they learn from one another. She says participants connected deeply with the bees in their garden, bringing joy to everyone involved with Shutterbee. And she says participants like Ned Siegel, who were incredibly engaged, added so much to the research.